Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode. And today on Hot La Mode, we're doing a new series that I'm actually really excited about because we're gonna be reacting to Say Yes to the Dress. Before we get any further into the video, I just wanna say a huge shout out to our sponsor for today's video, who is Curology. So we are in the bathroom because we are still talking about our sponsor for today, who is Curology. There it is. Bam, look at me being a beauty blogger. So I actually started working with Curology because they sent me some product. I'm very blessed. Like I've never had, you know, really bad breakouts. Like I've never had really bad skin issues. The other thing is I also have really sensitive skin. So like literally if I put on like a lavender hand lotion and I like touch my eyes, like my skin will literally erupt into like puffy, itchy, scratchy, red situations. But I also have some skin issues because when I shave my foch, my foche bruta, uh, I actually get really bad razor burn and that's not fun. So when I was working with Curology, trying to figure out like what actually I needed to make my skin look better, even though in reality, I really was like, I don't even need Curology. Like it's fine, it's whatever, like who cares? Like I have great skin, I'm blessed. Like I don't need to be doing anything for it because it'll just mess it up. But Curology has this system where you go online and you pretty much send them photos of your face and then you tell them all of the issues that you're having with your skin. And there's a provider who will like connect with you online and actually like help you understand what you need in order to make your skin look better. So I'm gonna walk you through the Curology experience and what actually goes down. So the first thing that you use is this cleanser. Put it on your little hand, little hand leash. There you go, look at me. Oh my God, hand model. I do it in a certain manner. Okay, let me wash it off now. I don't have a washcloth because like I am not that aesthetically pleasing. So next up, I'm actually going to use this white little pod, which I showed you guys earlier, but like this is the actual serum and like lotion that is going to help you. It literally says like Luke Mar and then it says my apartment information, which I didn't realize until right now. So maybe I shouldn't show you guys that, but it has like, niacinamide and like slindismid and azelaic acid and it just tells you to like apply that to your face so then i just go and it's like this nice little pumpy pumpy dumpy um ew i'm sorry urology is gonna fire me but i apply that and this is the stuff that really like helps to fight your your facial issues the great thing about urology is this particular pump is actually custom made for me. So everybody depending upon their, you know, facial acne, uh, skin situations, get their own specific bottle that's made specifically for you, which I think is actually really cool. So finally you have this little moisturizer. She's very cute, very like fun packaging. We love to see it. And I apply that again in that upward motion. So you can go down into my description box and actually find the Curology link right there. It's so easy. It literally is like something's on the Curology slash Hot La Mode. Go check it out. You get your first bottle free and all you have to do is pay for shipping, which is so great and easy and wonderful. So check it out. Honestly, beautiful skin. I'm feeling myself. I feel so good about life. Like, thank you, Curology. So I'm sure that many of you that watch my channel have seen Say Yes to the Dress. I have seen it in bits and pieces. I've never actually been a real fan and I don't actually think I've ever watched a full episode. I've only ever really seen the clips online. But I will say for those of you that like the Say Yes to the Dress episode with Randy at Kleinfeld, I actually have been to Kleinfeld. I actually went with my cousin Grace who got married last year. And, you know, I was a part of her wedding dress shopping. It was really fun. It was actually super interesting. It was lovely to actually go to Kleinfeld and really see what it's like in person. So I do have that personal experience of going shopping there. So, you know, I might not know a lot about wedding dresses, but at least I've, you know, been through the cycle. But I also just want to say, these videos are not going to be like my other like roast videos or review videos because I actually truly don't want to be like, I don't think you should have wore that dress. Cause listen, I don't know how exactly it's going to go. Cause some of these people might not be picking out the best, you know, dresses for their wedding, but I'm going to try and keep it as positive and light as possible, which for those of you that watch hot limo know that that's going to be really, really hard to do. So this episode is actually called daddy's girl tries on a $16,000 dress, which, in reality, 
is a lot of money for a dress. Like it's not at the haute couture level where, you know, it's $200,000 for a dress, but $16,000 for a dress is like buying a car. So let's see how it goes. Hi, I'm how Albany. I'm gonna nice be your consultant. You. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hello, beautiful. I'm nice Randy. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Well Oh my God, Randy and I. Welcome. Hi. So tell us about your wedding and what you're looking for. Uh, I'm looking for a ball gown. I really want something like extra big um, and fluffy and obnoxious. I don't know. It's like the one day you could wear that. So I definitely want a big dress. That's not true. You could wear a big whatever you want all of the time. Don't make it just about your wedding. Be crazy and outlandish and fun with fashion every day. That's not difficult. You can do it. Princess ball gown with bling and just a lot of fluff. So when you say big. Okay, also I have a question. What is with the bling? Cause listen, everybody describes it as like bling. That's what I've noticed from these shows is everybody's like, I want bling. When in reality they're talking about like rhinestones, sequins or crystals. Why do we love the bling? What about the bling is so enticing to us? I would love to know. Like how, how big how are you big? talking about? I'm like that big. Like she has to be this far from wow. me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought she was just pushing the sister out of the way in order, you know, to be like, I want that one. Okay. The biggest ball gown we yeah. have. Dad white, boy, white. Dad wants That's white. Key. I don't. I don't okay. want yellow. I mean, I don't want. It's up to you. Like, this but this is a little. Oh, he's like this color is no. <laughs> Listen, we'll I'm, I'm flexible. Whatever yeah, you want, like, honey. Whatever you want. Oh, oh daddy's okay. girl. Okay, so another really interesting thing to me is how involved parents can be in the choosing of their child's wedding dress. When I have kids, obviously I'm gonna be me, so I'm gonna be like, I think you should do this. So I mean, I guess that makes sense why people are so involved, but like, it is really shocking to see how involved some people's parents want to be in the process. And it's like, shh, this isn't about you. Not that this dad is doing that. I seem I actually like him because he's saying like do what you want. But you know, some parents, like some episodes really like, oh, within oh, within I reason, know. within reason, whatever she wants. He has his wallet. What's a budget we should be respectful of today? Oh. Dad. Oh, dad. Oh, dad. Looking around. <laughs> You're looking at dad, he's looking around. I, I, so what I what's like the, the cap on this? Like what would you like to cap it off? Um Ooh. ten? Okay. Is that too much? Okay, that's not a bad number. Listen, I've been to Kleinfeld. Like, there are really nice dresses for like one, two thousand. Like, ten is a lot to work with. It's a lot more than a lot of other people have. So, you know, listen, I'm excited. And also, like, no offense, you know, I'm not talking about her wedding outfit, but like, you're wearing a Valentino bag, ripped jeans, you know, see through transparent heels and a navy green parka. Like, you know, I'm not expecting you to have some ethereal, over-the-top, amazing fashion, you know, wedding moment, but 10 is a lot to work with for the girls that don't mean to say it, but like basic, you know what I mean? That's a lot, that's a lot of money to work with for a basic girl. Show too little? Is it too much? Depends what you're looking for. <laughs> is it too much or too what little? What were you thinking? Seven? Seven? Oh. <laughs> the way the music cuts out. If I need to get my dad on board with a dress that he just thinks is like too expensive. <laughs> She's the boss tonight. <laughs> like I can literally just shed a tear and my dad will be like putty in my hands. <laughs> okay, me with my mom when I was like seven and everybody used to call me gay and I used to tell her that and be like, mom, everybody will call me gay if you don't buy me this. And then she would always buy me stuff. So like, the homophobia was a bad thing, but also like sometimes it worked out. I get the whole like making your parents want to buy you stuff experience. Wait, <laughs> this is my workout for the day. Woo! Hopefully this doesn't cool. come off the I wall. I hope you guys come with the wedding day because I don't know who's dressing me. Now, I just want to know, this is like double the budget. Those are gigantic and actually, weirdly enough, I like the lace on them. I like the tears. I like how big and bold they are. I haven't seen them on. I just like the look of them on the hanger, which is good because having hanger appeal is important because listen, you're not wearing it. You want it to look good in the closet or in the box, wherever it's being held. But also you're gonna need a big ass box if you're not gonna hang that up. Like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people put their wedding dresses in boxes. Like that's gonna need a big ass box. Is your dad gonna kill that. us? 
No, I don't think so. No, we'll see. Don't think we'll so. see. <laughs> it's our lives yeah. in danger here. <laughs> no, it's okay. He'll be okay. Because I'm usually like really, we're both usually really cautious of the budget. Okay. And we've like doubled it. Doubled here. it. Really? I thought you said sixteen. Well, sixteen thousand, seventy-seven, is fourteen. I don't do math, guys. No. Okay. I you guys have fun. I don't know math. Go ahead. Great. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you so much. Do I need to bring you some water? Oh. I, I got my I water know. right you here. Water. <laughs> I think you need vodka. <laughs> I think so. I think so. That would help. I don't really care about the money, to be honest. <laughs> I care more about like how I feel. Okay, uh, just like getting an in detail, like, you know, up close shot. I like this bodice and I like this. I don't want to call it a lace because it doesn't actually seem like it's a lace. It seems like it's some sort of like laser cutout that is like stuck to a sort of tool or a netting. But it's quite stiff, which I really like. I actually think it's really, really interesting and different and not something that you see a lot on wedding dresses. Guess what? The next one's more expensive. Just preparing you. I asked in the beginning, that's why I said, what's the budget? And when she pulled him, I said, look, this is twice the budget. She goes, that's okay. <laughs> she goes, I can do Academy Award winning tier. Really? Daddy will be a pushover. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, Randy. She's gonna, you know, make it a thing. You can't give away the plot line before it's happened. God, Randy is not about scamming parents. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is crazy. This thing's huge. <gasps> okay, let's sit in this freaking thing. Oh my God, that is gigantic. I, I'm okay with the $16,000 price tag. I mean, it's like my one day. And so hopefully, my dad agrees with that. Ooh. She's not wearing a heel, because listen, I'm really sorry just for like, you know, the advice of every woman wearing, you know, a wedding dress when they're trying it on. Wear it with a shoe. I can't, like, my friends call me and are like, what do you think of these jeans? Like, what do you think of, you know, this shirt? What do you think of this dress? If there's not a shoe on your body, I can't think of it. I, I can't picture it because I need to know what it looks like with a shoe. A shoe is very important to have on, even if it's a little baby kitten heel. Like, I need to know what it looks like with a shoe. Always, always wear a shoe when you're trying stuff on. Oh, that is no. a big- Ugh, with the barefoot, I'm sorry. Like the dress I love, but I just can't get over the barefoot. Like put on a, put on a heel, come on, come on. Your wedding dress, you're talking about the wedding dress, it's a $16,000 wedding dress. Put on a goddamn heel. Big dress. train. Oh. Oh, wait, this is dress number two? I'm lost. Say yes to the dress, you are messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you I think about that. this dress? <laughs> I think I just like the shape. I like that it's like different. This dress gives me a great feeling. I feel beautiful in it. I feel different. I feel like it's like a statement piece. I love it. I think, oh my God, it's Panina Tournay, who is like one of the famous uh, Say Yes to the Dress designers who I'm very interested in. I really like this dress on her a lot. I think it's actually super duper beautiful. I think it's super duper different. And I like that she actually realizes it's different. It's interesting. It has something to say. I think if it was more covered up. Okay, who is this telling her to cover up? Emma loves this area. She likes to flaunt them. I just think that there are days that they should not be flaunted. Uh, no, absolutely not. If the girl wants to let the girls hang out, let the girls hang out. Who are you to disinvite the girls to the party, to the wedding? Listen, they've been with her her whole life. Her partner knows that they exist. Why can't everybody else? On a club scene, sure, go out and show them. On your wedding day, I think she needs to tone it down a little bit. I, I don't know who this is, but not my, I'm not a big fan. Why don't we turn you around and show your yeah. family, okay? Oh my. Oh, that's a lot of dress. Maybe some of it can be taken out. Why are you laughing? Do <laughs> you know the price of it? Like you're no, laughing No, you look sweating. like a turkey. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I like the dad. The dad can come on hot mode if he wants. What was that? If you look at the back of the dress, it looks like almost a lobster tail coming out. It's just not something that I that I like. You know how much this turkey is? Sixteen thousand one hundred. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I. It's getting tense. I, I mean, don't you think it's a little bit on the, you know, on the high side? I mean, what do you think? I cannot believe my dad has sticker shock. Is he crazy? I mean. He needs to get it together. <laughs> Woo, guys! 
<laughs> oh my god, I love that. See, she should have wore a heel. She would have fell so much more gracefully. And bride oh, down. Everyone's missing my whole ass. Can we just hold it up? It's like, Are you okay? It doesn't fit. No, I didn't fall. I came down because my it keeps getting unbuttoned. Of course, one of my clips in the back bust, and I feel the dress just like falling. So I duck down. Oh, I fully was like, oh, she fell. Like, haha, if she needs a heel, she would have felt better. But oh, if the dress actually, she's gonna show it all. She was gonna bear it all at Kleinfeld. It's good for her. Down, so that way all of Kleinfeld doesn't see my ass. So what do you think of this? I love this. I really like it. Much lighter than the yeah, last one. Yeah, a lot lighter, yes. Should we show I your feel like I could. Okay, so this to me is like a lace that is, you know, a bit more traditional. It doesn't seem super duper traditional, but it's a bit more traditional than the one that we had seen previously. I don't know if I love the lace jumping off of the cup because it creates a weird sort of bust line that, you know, for me, it's not my favorite thing ever. Another thing that, you know, is kind of throwing me off is the beige sort of netting that's holding the, the bodice together here is just such a different color than her skin tone. And I mean, like from far away, you wouldn't really notice, but like up close, I'm just like, eagle eye. That's it, yeah. Yeah, let's show them. Oh, look at mom's face. <laughs> oh, pure white for you. I like the white. Oh yeah, that is like a crisp, crisp white. How do you feel since there's no bling? Shocked. Shocked. Yes. I really thought I would only like something with bling, but... I don't think you need bling in reality. Like, I think bling, in my personal opinion, kind of tacks it up. Like, tacks it up as it makes it tacky and gaudy. And, like, listen, I get it. If you're a real housewife of Staten Island, go for it. Like, you know, that's what I grew up with. But for me, on my wedding day, when I get my dress, I don't think I need the bling. This is like all lace. Ooh. Wow. Dead, right? This is she has a great uh, like body for this this bodice because it really like comes out and the girls are just there and they look beautiful and I'm like so happy. So striking on you. I feel really good. I'm like surprised it's not blingy or anything, but I don't even think it needs it. I think it's like so it, elegant. It brings the attention to you. Yeah. Right? Instead of the dress. Okay, I like want to spend four hours, Brandy, because I feel like he knows exactly what to say to sell these dresses. And not that I think he's like a bullshit artist. I think when you work with clothing and you work with people, like selling people clothing, you really have to like speak to them in a level that is not like, I'm going to speak to you like you're an idiot. And you also have to speak to them in a way that you know, sort of boosts their confidence and builds their own story with the clothing. And I feel like he probably is super duper good at that. And I could spend hours asking him about that process. Right. I love that bow in the back. You like the yeah. bow? I just wish it was in the center, not on one side. Let's turn you around and see what they think. Okay. Look at my He's face. Nice it's big. It's a, it's a quite wide, wide dress, which I know is what you wanted, but it really is big, but it's beautiful. What do you think, Mom? I think someone likes it. I like it. it. And Dad? I like I like the dress, yes. Uh, do you want another price? <laughs> yeah, hit me now. 8100 $8, It's actually a nice 16, dress. 16000 I know, I know. Yeah. You cut it now. You cut it now. 16000 no! <laughs> Oh my God, Panina Tornet. Does she just show up all the time? Is she like, hi? Is that like a casual occurrence? Because like... I also kind of am obsessed with her now, and I want to know who she is. <laughs> I always hear you say no, 16. I know. There's 81. 81. He said four before, before you came. <laughs> he did. He said 4,100. So Randy's he's paying for half yeah, exactly. the no, 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 no. Now, this is more like it. $8,100. I love this dress. Oh, my God. She looks like a bride. Wow. Are you... Be your lover, baby? Me? It's not my wallet. I, I, I know. <laughs> I, oh, but you were sure spending it earlier. <laughs> and the Academy Award goes to Emanuela. I'll be here all day. Meryl Streep, step aside. <laughs> She's got you around her I finger, know. Dad. They'll do. Oh, my girls. Oh. I oh, love she looks beautiful. She looks so beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm happy. That's like gorge.
Love it. Yeah. Do you love it? I love it, yeah. I love Can it. Can so you much. see yourself walking? Oh my god, she looks so I'm so happy. Like I like people being happy in clothing. I know that like, oh my god, I'm hot and low. Like I'm so mean and bitchy. But like when people really like something and when something looks really, really good on them, like I'm happy for them. Fashion is about being happy, having fun, and it being a part of your life story. I know I'm getting all philosophical here, but like it really does make me like joyful. On the island, this dress. Yes. Do you feel like you need to see more dresses? No. <laughs> Should we ask you the question? Guys? Should we ask you the question? Yeah. Dad? No, you're paying dad. Oh, well, she gives you the right answer. I'm okay with it. Emanuela, are, are you, you saying, saying yes, yes to the, the dress? dress? <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, that's so nice. I like when people are happy with their clothing and their choices in life. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love that. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I like when people get married and get their wedding dresses. So that is the end of our Say Yes to the Dress first reaction video. I actually really like doing this and I will literally do this like all of the time because I think it's super duper fun. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, I will keep doing them. No problem. I will see you guys on the next video and TTYL.